Welcome to this quick unboxing and setup of the new Phantom 3 4K. The first thing you should do when you get this is take this instruction manual, set it to the side, open up the box, remove this internal box which contains the charger, remove the battery from the Phantom 4K, and go and start charging the battery. This is the first step that you'll want to take because the battery can take about an hour or an hour and a half to charge. So go and charge up your battery. In the meantime, open up this manual and start reading through it. I highly recommend getting a cheap, small quad like the Hubson X4 from Amazon and learning to fly with that first. Once you learn to fly for two or three days, you can even return it to Amazon and then take this out without having any worries about first flights. This is by no means a beginner quad. Now, for the setup, get the quad and insert the battery, remove the transmitter, and attach your phone to the transmitter. There's some initial setup on this quad that is drastically different than the other Phantom 3 models, and that is because this quad works on a Wi-Fi basis. Attach your phone to the phone mount here. And power on the quad and transmitter. You'll see the gimbal do an initialization dance. This is normal, and wait until the quad is prepared. Now, go and download the DJI GO app. The first thing you'll need to do is connect to this drone's Wi-Fi network. So what you do is navigate to your settings, Wi-Fi, and connect to the network that's called DJI. The default password is 12341234. Once you've completed that, return to the DJI GO app. It'll say Phantom 3 4K, already connected, and you can then navigate to the camera view. Once in the camera view, you'll be able to see the settings for the craft, as well as the camera's live feed. It is important that when you first navigate to the DJI GO app after connecting to your Phantom, that you that you activate your Phantom, because it won't be able to fly until you've done this activation. You're now ready to go. You can see the live preview of the camera. You can do things like control its pan and tilt, and activate recording and stopping recording. It is at this point that you could take the quad and the transmitter outside, do a full compass calibration. After compass calibration, you can put the propellers on and do your first flight.